Wonder Kids are overrated. There, I've said it. They cost too much money, it takes too much time, and there's too much effort involved. But Moneyball, on the other hand, Moneyball gives you immediate returns. It generates huge amounts of profit. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Greetings my excellent friends and welcome to Games Tell Stories. I'm Kirk Sheridan and today I'm going to take you through 10 top tips for Moneyball Scouting. These tips will turn you into a transfer aficionado in Football Manager and they will also allow you to tell a phenomenal story with whatever club you choose to manage in the game. But firstly, what is Moneyball? Well, there are a variety of definitions, but for our purpose, it's pretty simple. Moneyball is about using data to gain value and a competitive advantage over clubs with better financial resources than you. So these techniques really are for any club out there, whether you're playing a lower league save, a non-league save, a journeyman save, taking over a club in administration. All of these tips will help you bring in players who are going to generate a profit for you quickly. The first tip is incredibly simple. Always be scouting for replacements to your current team. When applying Moneyball techniques, you are aiming to sell your players for a profit, and that means you could lose anyone at any time. You have to make sure you've got the next player lined up. So an ongoing recruitment focus is absolutely essential. Don't limit yourself to a certain range. Make sure you're casting the net as wide as you possibly can. And crucially, don't waste time and effort looking for low knees. Remember, this is Moneyball. You're seeking to make a profit. So don't waste time developing another club's assets. And remember, we are looking for replacements. Any position from your current tactic is what you're looking for. Tip two, look for players aged 20 to 25. You need players who've proven themselves but not yet peaked so that you can sell them for a profit in the not too distant future. This is an incredibly easy thing to do with all of your recruitment focuses and you can see I've got it set up on all of mine. Simply select the age between 20 and 25. Doesn't matter where you're looking, doesn't matter what position you're looking for, stick with that rule and you can't go wrong. And tip three, make sure you're prioritising players who are ready to step into your first team straight away. If you're spending good money on someone, you want them stepping into your first team immediately. So after you've built up a bank of knowledge, go to the Scouted Players screen, and I recommend applying this kind of filter. Links are available in the description below, but essentially you can see where the player is currently based, their age, when their contract expires, their current and potential ability, how old the scouting report is, whether they're likely to get a work permit, and whether they fit your club's DNA. So right now I'm playing through the January transfer window with Birmingham City, and I'm looking for a central defender to come in and replace one of my up-and-coming youngsters who is going to move to a Premier League team for a massive chunk of profit. Therefore, I'm looking for someone 20 to 25, play central defence who meets that club DNA, and these are the options I've got. But I'm not going to go by the recommendation from the scout I'm going to go straight for current ability and it's these players here who are jumping out as ready to step into a first team void now quick aside all of these tips that I'm sharing with you today I've applied it to my save with Worthing and Birmingham over the last few seasons where I'm playing not as manager but as the director of football if that sounds exciting check out the director of Moneyball series on the channel it's a great watch but when you have found some potentials how do you decide who to add to your shortlist Tip four, be guided by their transfer value. With a customised view, you can quickly spot players who are available below market value and make sure you're scouting them and adding them to your shortlist to get the best bargains. Zach Williams here, who's already on my shortlist, has a contract with Derby County until 2029 and is valued somewhere between £7 and £8.8 million. Pounds. So that's a handy benchmark. David Nemeth already got a very good rating for the senior team, valued at £1.8 million. He's also likely to get a work permit and his wage is not outside the realms of possibility. Worth noting as well, if a player has a fixed transfer value rather than a range, chances are they are on the transfer list and their club will will allow you to go for a cut price deal. So we'll add David Nemeth to our shortlist for a month and also Connor Taylor. Yes, more expensive, but scouts are reporting he has requested to leave and his asking price is well below market value. These are the money ball bargains you're looking for. Tip five, don't worry about the wages that new players are looking for because you're going to save money on transfer fees. You can find better quality players by simply adjusting your interested in filter. I always look for people who are unsure or better. 
if anyone is unsure about joining you, they're going to want more money, obviously. But again, you're saving money on transfer fees. We're looking for absolute transfer bargains here. And considering my Birmingham team currently pay the second lowest wages in the championship, I don't think this is a technique that's really going to break the bank. Tip six, it is always worth looking at players whose contracts are due to expire soon. Don't rush to bring in somebody now if you can get them for nothing in the summer, unless, of course, you can get them now for a significant discount. Simply select anyone whose contract is expiring in the search filter. For us, this is highlighted Mohamed Darami, currently valued 190 to 4.2 million pounds, would be one of, if not the best forward at the club, and we've simply offered him a contract for when his current one expires. So that contract expires filter surefire way to find some major bargains tip seven make sure you stay up to date keep those scouting reports as up to date as you possibly can when you spot someone good add them to your shortlist or just make sure you go in and keep refreshing them as often as possible which i have spectacularly failed to do here with seku diawara who looks like he might be a good replacement for our outgoing star striker but his scouting report is nearly a year old so simple effective just go and scout them straight away then once you've got your short list who do you actually make an offer for tip eight once you've narrowed your focus down to a few players you really want to look at further follow the data prioritize people who've played a lot of matches make sure that they've got evidence of a high performance level don't waste time with untried youngsters it's just too risky here's my central defensive shortlist that i built up earlier david nemeth and connor taylor jumping out as the two strongest options so i'll compare the two david nemeth significantly lower wage demand significantly lower fee not played anywhere near as much football this season however nemeth has three years playing regular first team football in germany connor taylor regular first team football in league one and the championship connor taylor stronger mental attributes on average david nemeth stronger physical attributes on average that's two evenly matched players. Connor Taylor, more expensive, higher wages, evidence of higher performance. David Nemeth, cheaper, lower wages, and reliable. So if in doubt, always come back to how much profit you're going to make. For me, David Nemeth. My ninth tip for Moneyball Scouting will get you a ton of value, and it's dead easy. Just scout lower reputation leagues. Poor reputation equals value. And you can see with this particular recruitment focus, I'm looking at League One, League Two, National League, and two lower league trophies as well. And on top of that, I'm going to add players with a high statistical performance in average rating, which comes back to following the data. And straight away, this is recommending me some potentially great first team prospects. And you can apply exactly the same technique to other countries. If I wanted to, I could add in the Spanish second division, maybe League 2 in France. And straight away there, we're being recommended Steven Sessignon. Bargains to be found in lower divisions all around the world. And my final Moneyball tip for you, my friends, is make sure you upgrade the weakest area of your team first. This will bring you in a much better financial return long term than bringing in a star player you don't need, and it will increase your performance faster. Here's an example where we bring all of these tips together. In my save with Birmingham, we are currently in ninth place in the championship. We should be sixth based on the XG table. We've conceded far too many goals. And our goalkeeper has been ever present for those matches. He has a 66% save rating. It's not good enough. He is our weakest link. So I've been scouting for goalkeepers who can come into the first team and replace him straight away. I've had it as my top priority recruitment focus, looking for First team ready players aged 20 to 25 across the whole scouting range. And when we filter by players who are even doubtful about joining us, Whacking Blazquez is coming up top for current ability. He's played a couple of seasons of first team football, a tough one in the first division last year, but he's keeping goal currently for the second place team in the Spanish second division. He's likely to get a work permit. He's very cheap. His wages are high but affordable, consistent, enjoys big matches decent Premier Division player in future. He is the man we've had an offer accepted, £250,000 up front and 53000 after 50 matches in the league. That would be, quite frankly, an absolute bargain. And there you have it, my friends. Those are 10 top tips for Moneyball Scouting that you can apply to any club, any division, 
anywhere in the world and they can take you from eight and a half million pounds overdrawn to nearly 30 million pounds in the bank within the space of two years that's what i've done at birmingham follow these tips and you can do it too well i hope you've enjoyed what you've watched today and i hope these tips serve you well please do drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments what you think of these tips are there any others that you would apply in this money ball context please do subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around and find out more great football manager storytelling content and be excellent Excellent to each other as always. I'm Kirk Sheridan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.